Chris Pine promoted his directing debut, Pool Man, at Jimmy Kimmel Live, this week by jokingly dressing in a coat akin to a bathrobe over pajamas. Chris, 43, not only co-wrote and directed the film, but he also starred in it with Jennifer Jason Lee, Danny DeVito, Ariana DeBose, and Anit Benny. Prior to the big screen debut of his next film, Chris has drawn attention to himself on multiple occasions with his unusual attire selections. A commercial is presently playing on the video player. On a mouse or keyboard, you can skip the advertisement in five seconds. When he reappeared on Thursday to record a late-night TV appearance with Jimmy in support of Pool Man, he did not let anyone down. Chris enhanced the watery image by wearing an aquamarine pajama top and matching small shorts, while wearing an open navy bathrobe. With his bushy salt and pepper beard, the silver fox left his top few buttons tantalizingly undone over his bronze chest. In his latest movie, Chris plays the pool guy at his apartment complex named Darren, who has a philosophical bent. Annette and Danny play his neighbors. After a while, Darren learns about a water robbery and is thrown into a string of misadventures straight out of a movie noir, complete with a femme fatale. Dewanda Wise, the star of the Netflix series based on Spike Lee's iconic film She's Gotta Have It, is among the cast members of this comedy mystery. The film also stars Stephen Tobolowsky from Groundhog Day, Clancy Brown from The Shawshank Redemption, and seasoned English actress Juliette Mills. Chris recently disclosed that a large number of his Pullman outfits were taken directly from his actual wardrobe, shedding light on his sense of style. The Star Trek hottie told Access, I wear an outfit that's basically my version of Cary Grant in To Catch a Thief, which is one of my favorite films. I'm really into the Pullman aesthetic. I wear two of my own hats in it. At the Pullman premiere in Los Angeles late last month at Quentin Tarantino's Vista Theater, he made a really striking impression. Chris looked great sporting a blue blazer, high-cut denim shorts, a giant flower on his lapel, a scraggly blonde wig, and a I love LA t-shirt. Eight months after its world premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival, Pool Man will have a limited theatrical distribution in the United States this Friday. After its premiere, the film received harsh criticism from critics, to the point where it now has a dismal 23% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. It's not just the worst movie I saw in the fall festival circuit, but it's probably among the worst movies ever made, Variety critic Owen Gleiberman stated.